Mag Milk in the house. Good morning. We've got um, Jimmy. We'll give Mag Milk a quick little rundown. So, Jimmy uh, we, started peeing on the floor because he can't see his wiener anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Lachlan challenged him to a weight what do you loss. Mean? Not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what precipitated the weight loss that challenge. Is, what <laughs> is the amount of urine on the that floor? That kick started this whole thing. Anyway, that's how we got into it. So he's accepted the challenge. <laughs> he has to lose twenty pounds before December twentieth. Um, okay. If he does, he doesn't have to pay me parking because his contribution to my to me driving him all over the place is he pays the parking here in the building. So yeah. he gives me forty five bucks a month. Um, and I said, listen, you don't have to pay for the entire year if you lose 20 pounds. If so he, we got two and a half months then? Uh, two months. Uh, three yeah. months. Three, well, uh, three months. Three months. He's got three months it's to doable. lose 20 pounds. I think he can do it. Absolutely. And then uh, if he loses, I get to uh, put a tattoo on him. <laughs> so, oh, do you have an idea yet? I have a bunch of ideas that are um, ranging from absolutely dickish. Mm. Hopefully something shunt related. To criminal. So I'm sort of, I'm in that gauge right now. Um, it's to be a motivational, quote. <laughs> motivational quote is it's supposed to be things, a motive, but, but it doesn't necessarily have to be nice. <laughs> anyway, you uh, had an interesting... Live, laugh, shunt. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, you had an interesting um, uh, comment uh, about weight loss. Tips. Yeah, once upon a time I got suckered into a gym pass that I didn't use. Of course. And part Haven't of it we all? part of the pitch was that you got to sit down with a nutritionist and what she told me is you can convince yourself that you're eating more by eating out of a bowl as opposed to a plate cuz it looks like there's more food in a bowl than when you put the exact same amount spread over a plate. That's actually really smart, Jimmy. It's like it's a, it's a thing to trick yourself. Uh, yeah, trick yeah, yourself right. into eating less. We got a bunch of advice this morning. Actually, some really good advice. And all kidding aside, I uh, I really want him to actually achieve this. I don't care about the money. I think you can do it, man. I think he can oh, do it. Definitely I, do it. I would really like him to to do it. I've I've been bugging him now for the last uh, year or so because he is a bit sedentary. Um, so I'm like, dude, you guys just got to get into some kind of routine, some kind of exercise. You had a thing. Facebook Live video or something up the other day, and you're sitting on the couch just watching TV. It is the best. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, a lot of the thirteenth video. Yeah, that was, was a lot of people's Friday nights. Oh, it was incredible. How many people do you think masturbated to that? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Several times. <laughs> you were one of about 25 yeah, people. Yeah, of course. Why not? All right, let's talk Oilers here quickly, because this, uh, this is going off the rails. Who's this Anton kid that everybody's freaking out about? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. we got to dive into the old Google machine to find that one out. You know what I mean? It's like he's uh, he's a UFA, played in, in the KHL. Okay. Uh, he's got a little bit of offensive skills, coming into battle for a job on the wings. They're saying like he's going to get top six minutes for the Oilers well, if I he mean, makes a team. There's a wide open hole in the top six, so theoretically he could. I mean, what Ken Holland likes to do historically is get a lot of people battling for jobs. And once those are sorted out, he'll just discard as he sees fit. So I assume that's part of this plan as well. I honestly don't know much about this guy. I see that he's coming in on a PTO, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. How old is he? Is he young? Uh, he's in his mid-20s kind of thing. All right. If, if if my ask Jeeves googling yeah, works for me this morning, twenty eight or something, and he was undrafted. He's been in Russia his whole career, but all right. right. That's what Ken Holland also. I mean, when he was in Russia, or when he was in Detroit, he loved the Russian players, right? And he, found he likes the, fishing for Russians and yeah. fishing for Swedes. So we'll we see. Go. We'll see. Now, the Edmonton Oilers, I think, have been comparatively speaking to past years. Last year, I think they took a lot of heat from their fans. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and, and probably... And deservedly so, ar- d- arguably. Obvi- obviously, yeah. But I think I think they kind of... They might be a little bit concerned, right? It's a really strong brand, and they are very arrogant, but they did take a lot of heat last year. Took a lot of heat, but um, I feel like, based on people that I've talked to in the media that deal with the weathers on a day-to-day... That things are starting to change. Mm-hmm. They've got new people in the business side. They've obviously got new management and coach that are trying to be um, more open in communication. So we'll see if that actually lasts. Um, but they're trying. They've got to work. The, the best results will be to win on the ice, and then nobody will really care anymore. That's a good point. I mean, if they start winning, that's it, right? It'll be all over. This whole conversation's over. When they made the playoffs a couple of years ago, nobody cared about the attitudes of management. Just win. Yeah. Yeah. But... The Thursday night 
beer thing. <laughs> Hilarious. Five dollar beer nights for $5 every Thursday nights, home game. And there's only three of those Thursday home games. Now here's it's my, only the first intermission and it's one yeah. concession stand in the building. Here's my question. So they are getting the message. The fans are, are are pissed. They're annoyed with this this franchise. They're they're too arrogant. Uh, they charge way too much. Um, and it, it, we still are flocking to pick up the season tickets that didn't get picked up last year, all of that. So they're still going to make money. But then they do that, and then everybody just makes fun of it. <laughs> do, do, I don't... Can you explain it? Like, what is going through... Like, if you're going to do something, don't half-ass it, because it's just going to hurt you more. I get your point. But I'm looking at the positive because I'm in full Kool-Aid mode right now. <laughs> I appreciated that they're actually making steps to do something, as even though they're baby steps at this point. Yes, it's funny to make fun of $5 beers on three Thursdays. For the first for the period. Whole year, yeah. The first period. But at least they're moving. I like the 50-50 angle they're doing on Saturday nights where they're going to move the split from 50-50 all the way up to 70-30 on sometimes for a city that loves their 50-50, that's going to be a 50/50. huge one. Like, I mean, it was the first preseason game of the year the other day, and somebody walked away with 30 grand. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's incredible. So I will give them credit for trying to move okay. the yardstick. All right, do they need to do more? 100%. Is it super easy to make fun of them for $5 beers for, you know, six minutes, and you only get one every 10 <laughs> years or whatever? Yes, of course. But, like, at least they're trying. I think this is going to be the beginning of a lot more stuff for them. Well, at least I'm hopeful. All right. Now, that, and that's probably top down a little bit, right? Like, Holland, is is he the kind of guy that's going to change the culture, do you think? I think, I th- well, I mean, he's preached communication and stability, so you would hope so. They've also got new people in there on the business side as well. Okay. So they can't be looking at people that gave up season tickets and be happy about it. They have to provide better in game entertainment. I mean, if you go to, we've got a trip coming up to go to Vegas in February. Any and- spots left? Uh, I mean, maybe a couple. Okay. All Two, right. three. Go to nationgear.ca if you want to come. But, like, if you go to an arena like Vegas, and okay, maybe Vegas is a bad example because it's Vegas after mm-hmm. all, but, like, go to Nashville. Go to some of these arenas where they really make the in game entertainment something special. Because they kind of have to. You can't go to one of those arenas and then come to an arena like Edmonton where everybody just kind of sits in silence and be like, oh, well, that's the same thing. The library. They need to do more. They need to make people. If you're going to shell out a grand, say you take three kids to a game and you're shelling out a grand for a Thursday night. I still haven't been to a game. You better have a good time. Yeah. yeah. You well, have to. Yeah, exactly. I, I just I saw that $5 beer thing and I'm just like, what? Because you could also go into Ford Hall and get a five dollar beer before the game anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's five like seventy five now. I think. (sighs) You know what they got to do is they got to do the beer thing and just do it all season. Five dollar beers. Wouldn't it be great Uh, though if so beers are like twelve fifty or whatever they are? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be great that for every goal the Oilers were down, they reduce that price by a dollar? Write an email. There was a team. Write an email right now. I can't remember who it was. An AHL team, I think, and they do a few guess the correct player to score a goal in the first period the beer all gets slashed by three bucks <laughs> i can't remember which team just that do was. more of that stuff yeah, yeah. give up free tacos yeah i don't anything. know anything yes I anything like free stuff man anyway there is bag milk thanks for the visit my friend thank you